my name is Charles from JTech. I'm going to show you uh, scissor diagnosing here on this Peterbilt. If you want to get your scan tool, any type of scan tool, we're, we're having to be using gel test, and I've kind of got a head start on it. And pull up ECM engine codes. All right, we're gonna read fault codes. All right, so we got a boost pressure uh, above normal or short of high. So now we're gonna go on our, uh, on any of your uh, service manuals. We use ProDemand here. We're going to go down and we're going to go to our uh, fault code identification. Go to Caterpillar 3406E fault codes. And we're going to go down to boost voltage above normal, short and high. Click on that. And down here, the diagnostic procedure. Alright, so the first step is. All right, see it says the fault is active which of course it is so we're going to go step two which is the uh, 10 pound pull test so you want to come up to the sensor in question you kind of just want to pull on a little bit wiggle it make sure that nothing was loose on both sides make sure nothing's you know what i mean just make sure everything's put in together like it's supposed to all right we'll go to the next one all right we're going to go to step three now Transmission on. Okay, so this one went to a voltage uh, high, so we're gonna go to step seven. So skip all these steps and go down to step seven. We're gonna now we're going to inspect the five volt reference on the sensor. So let's go get our multimeter. volt reference this is our common and this is our signal all right and we look come look at our meter and we got five volt 5.1 volts which is in spec so that's not a problem so now we're going to go move on to the next step that's okay we got a step eight so we're gonna go step eight we're gonna make a sh uh, short at the center so we're gonna take a jumper wire or any type of way you do it if you have a uh, plug that you plug into there we're gonna take our test leads pull apart we're gonna take our, our uh, round or our and our signal wire and ground and uh, sort them together. All right, and now we're gonna go back and read codes. That's it. So all we're gonna do is just refresh this. All right, and it still says it's shorted high, so let's go back to our service manual. It says, okay, jumper wire connected. Now we gotta go step nine. Now we gotta create a short at the ECM. So we're gonna connect our jumper wires between our two terminals over there on the ECM. Pull those off. Right on. This is our engine ECM harness right here, so we're gonna pull this one.
find it. We already, I already found the diagram already for this. Okay, and this is 23 and 30. Are the two pins that are going to be our ones that we're going to be looking at, which is our common and our signal. So you kind of just line it up best you can. And take your jumper wires. All right, now we're gonna go recheck our codes. If that the ECM is right, then the code should say it went to low or shorted. Let's refresh this. Okay, now of course since we disconnected the ECM, uh, we're going to have a lot of temperatures, all our pressure and temperature sensors go go open, but what we're looking for is a boost sensor, short or low, which means tells me that the, the problem is not in the ECM, so now let's go to the next set. Okay, so it says ECM is working correctly, we go to step 10, but now we're going to check resistance in the harness. We're going to check resistance between our signal at the ECM connector and at the actual connector. So you unhook this, get that out of here. We're going to actually just use our multimeter. Take a T-pan or, or a uh, equivalent and we're going to stick it here. In the 20 in the 23 position hole. Then we're gonna take our other lead and we're gonna touch and we're gonna touch our signal wire down here at the bottom of the connector. We're gonna change our meter to ohms. And then we're gonna read ohms. Alright, this thing went OL. So that's telling me that there is a problem in our harness and that harness went open. And that way we need to find or tear. But Caterpillar doesn't like doing that, so they want us to replace the harness. And that's how you find out sensors.